why is there so much honking out there? I mean, it's really early. It's like so early. It's like eight o'clock in the morning, guys. Chill. <laughs> everyone Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos welcome to another vlog guys in this vlog I'm gonna be doing a few things first off I'm going to be doing a nasty gal haul this portion of the video is sponsored by nasty gal I love shopping them for amazing basics and things for spring and summer i wanted a lot of things that are like good for in the house but can also transition well into being outside and having fun so i'm going to show you those things and i'm also going to show you all how i care for my house plants my plant amelia which is my huge bird of paradise in my living room i think she gets more love than i do when i post her on instagram so I'm gonna go through and really in depth talk about my plants, show how I care for my plants, and also I'm gonna be repotting one of my smaller birds of paradise for you all today. So we'll get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. It's from Nasty Gal, so why not? Let's get started. So when I was looking through the Nasty Gal website, I definitely knew I wanted something to kind of wear around the house. And so when I saw this three piece set with this cool little kind of like sheer see through robe with this beautiful print, it's like a flower print robe and a little bandeau top with the matching little shorts, I knew. I had to have it. Now it's actually meant for the beach, like you could wear it over a swimsuit or over a bikini, but I think it's perfect for around the house. It's also very breathable. It's kind of sheer. Here in New York City, it gets so hot in the summer, especially here in my living room. Like I have windows on all sides of my living room. So when I'm just hanging out around the house, I like things that are very breathable. And this is perfect for that. I think I got the size medium or the size six. I'll make sure to put my exact sizing down in the description box and you could definitely check it out. I love this set. It's definitely a perfect set. I can go down to the mailbox. I can receive my packages wearing this and then I can also be super comfy and not so hot <laughs> when wearing this set around my apartment. So I will link it down below if you're interested. Now let me show you what else I got from Nasty Gal. I've been looking at their dresses and I've been wanting some really colorful, form-fitting dresses for summer. Make sure to check out my summer dresses video. That one has some really good recommendations. But look at this, guys. Ugh, this is so me. It is stunning. I love the colors. I'm really into like reds and purples right now. And I love the shape of this. This is actually like a maxi dress. What gets me about this dress is the back. The back is completely out with these beautiful dainty straps that you can strap up. It's just super sexy. Like I love the cutout of this too. How it's that square neck. Ugh, and it looks amazing on you guys. I can't even. It has a slit on this side to show off some leg. Ugh, it's a actually really quite substantial fabric. It's very well made. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this this summer. So if you're in the market for a really good floral dress, I'll link this one down below. I got the size US 
six if you're interested and normally i'm a six as well and because you all know i love a good house dress i got another dress this one is another kind of like form fitting almost like a t-shirt dress with three quarter length sleeves it's kind of a stretchy fabric and it's beautiful blue i don't know what it is but i've been loving blue lately but it's kind of like a midi dress it has a little slit here on the side at the bottom just an easy dress to kind of throw on and wear around the house but also will be a good dress to transition into wearing outside i got the size six in this as well and I will put a link down to it below if you guys are interested. It's super soft too. The fabric just feels good against your skin. Last but not least, I am a huge fan of organza and I've always wanted one of those like billowy organza blouses. And Nasty Gala has some amazing ones by the way. I will link a few down below. But the ones that I got is this one. Like I could just see myself wearing this with like a beautiful bra peeking out underneath. But what I love about this top is the sleeves. Look how billowy they are. Ugh, so good. Really loving how the sleeves come to this little scrunched up part that also features the same buttons that go down the middle. Such a beautiful top. I also got a size 12 in this, which is a US size eight. I always get my tops a little bit bigger because I have pretty broad shoulders. Ugh, love this top, love it so much that I also got it in white. Like how can you not get it in white? And the white is just as beautiful. Also has those buttons down the middle and then the billowy sleeves and the beautiful white buttons on the sleeves as well. This is just the perfect top for summer. You can even wear it over like a little tank top if you don't want to show too much with just wearing a bra or a bralette top. I have a ton of bralette tops I could wear under this but for me I'll probably just wear a nice lacy like bra or bralette top underneath and pair it with like a pair of denim jeans. So I will link all of these things down below in the description box and you can check them out. Huge thank you to Nasty Gal for partnering with me on this portion of the video for letting me pick out some amazing things to be around the house in and eventually be outside in. I can't wait to wear them out and style them up. All right guys don't forget that links to everything from Nasty Gal can be found down below in the description box. Let me take you through and introduce you all to my plants, show you how I care for them, and then also I'm gonna repot a plant for you guys so you can see that as well. All right, let's get to it. I just changed into a nice little house dress that I don't mind getting dirty. If you're interested, I will link this dress below if it's still available. So let's get started with me introducing you to my one, two, three, four plant babies. We will start with Riley, which is a fiddle fig leaf plant. So here he is, he is a boy the only boy plant I own. And I named him Riley, I don't know why, but so far he's doing good. I've noticed these little brown spots, they are normal. And I'll show you guys the stem here. It's very thin and you see all of these little crevices here. Those are normal, those are where leaves used to be. And I guess as they got older, those leaves fell off and they leave these little indentations like this. And I expect as the plant gets taller that more of these lower leaves are gonna fall off and the ones at the top are gonna grow. So I did recently repot this plant in one of my vlogs. So if you're interested to see how I repotted this, definitely check out that video. I've noticed that this plant likes very kind of dry soil, so I don't water it as much. I maybe water it, I would say every like two weeks almost, but because it does get direct sunlight, the soil dries out quick. So if I can put my finger all the way in and I feel no moisture, then I go ahead and water it. So you can see the newer leaves here are very like green and flush. And I do spray the leaves with water every other day when it doesn't get direct sunlight because if you do spray your leaves with water and then the sun is beaming down on it, that can cause damage to the leaves. So with my fiddle, fig leaf plant, I got it from Wayfair. Wayfair actually delivers live plants now. It actually came with that black planter. There was another 
planter that was inside that that the plant was in but I noticed when I got the plant the roots were kind of coming out of the top and so I just took it out of that smaller planter and planted it just in that black planter and then I cut some holes in the bottom so that the water can drain out onto the plate that is Riley my fiddle fig leaf plant I have linked it down below where I got it from Wayfair and the delivery is pretty quick too let's get into my birds of paradise the rest of my plants in my place are all white birds of paradise they all came from home depot so let's start with luna so this is luna and this is originally rose for a dadu chic my good friend and photographer this is was actually her plant and i took care of it for a few months it was in my office and then she came and took it to her place and she had it for a few months and she almost killed it and so she actually put it in an uber and sent it back to me to take care of so i have had luna now for a good while this leaf here is dying that's what happens when the leaves die they start to kind of turn yellow and this plant does prune itself but i'll probably go ahead and cut this off soon and the way to cut off the yellowing or dead leaves is to cut it as close to the stem as possible as you can see I've had to cut a few just for aesthetic purposes but you don't have to cut them off I usually cut them off and then I just use them as decorative leaves around the house for example this is one that I just cut off from my bigger plant it was really beautiful but now I'm probably just gonna throw it away but it lasted for about a week here's a new leaf that is about to come out. This plant only started with about four or five leaves and this one just recently opened. So if you wanna see what a new one, it's called unfurling. I think that's the proper term for it, but I just call it unrolling. And then it comes out very like light green and beautiful and then it'll kind of get its color. But I have this very close to a window because white birds of paradise love light. And as you can see, all of the leaves are kind of growing towards the window because they want that light. A few of them are getting a little too much light. <laughs> as you can see, they're like burning a little bit. I'm not a plant expert. <laughs> I just feel like I have a little bit of a green thumb. And this here is Amelia. And I've had Amelia for about two years now. I have a whole post on Instagram about this plant and how I take care of it. If you are ever interested in just getting quick tips about this plant and not having to come back and watch this video, make sure to head over to my Instagram, check out this post, save it or screenshot it so that you have it on your phone. But this plant is a white bird of paradise as well. When I got this plant, it was actually smaller than this, like a lot smaller. It was only about three feet tall. I repotted it and it grew like wildfire. Like these leaves are bigger than my torso. When these are just growing outside, there are a lot more of these little slits in it from the wind. This is like wind damage. Um, but since this is a house plant, mine don't have a lot of the wind cracks in it here is a new leaf coming out and this one is probably going to be huge like if you can look here at the base you can kind of see here at the base it's definitely going to be huge so the more light your white paradise plant gets the quicker and bigger it's gonna grow. And so if you move it to a less bright area, but it still gets light, that slows down the growth process. And that's what I wanted to do with this plant because I love it, but if it grows any bigger, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. And I, I can't do that, this is like my child. But you all can see where I've had to do a little bit of work using ties and poles to kind of make sure all of the leaves are separated and that all of the leaves aren't covering each other and that every leaf is getting sunlight so that uh, they don't die. I water this plant maybe every three or four days with a hefty amount of water, maybe like five to 10 cups of water, depending on how dry the soil is. This plant does not like dry soil. It likes moist soil at all times. And you can tell if you're overwatering because the leaves will turn yellow. And if you're underwatering, the plant's leaves will start to curl under. And then if the leaves are curling up, meaning the leaves are closing like a taco, that just means it's getting too much sunlight that the plant can't handle it. So you might need to move it to a less sunny place. All right, guys, and this is my newest plant. I just recently got this about five days ago. And her name is Sophie. She is a little baby. 
bird of paradise and she is stunning and it came in this little planter here i bought this planter from target and it's a self-watering which is great so i am going to take this plant out of this little container here and i'm going to repot it into this planter so the great thing about white bird of paradise is that even though they like a lot of light if they don't get a direct light that's great they can still grow without a lot of light which is why this plant i think is a better option for being right here compared to the fiddle leaf plant riley that i had here before so the last time i repotted a plant a lot of you were mortified that i just did it on my hardwood floor but i have a vacuum and so it's okay <laughs> i'm not about to put down a bunch of paper for like dirt i can literally just vacuum up i'm gonna show you what kind of soil i use it's the same soil i use when i repotted my fiddle leaf fig tree plant it's a really good soil actually and it helps the plant to grow it gives it a lot of nutrients when i water my plants i just use regular water and because i use this soil it really does the rest in like helping the plant to grow and giving the plant all of the nutrients that it needs and by the way i will put a link down below where you can buy a white bird of paradise plant keep in mind you're not going to find one this big in like home depot or anywhere online. You're gonna have to go to a plant nursery to find a fully grown one like this. And I feel like once you get them fully grown, they're a little bit harder to take care of because you don't know the conditions. I think it's easier to buy a small one and like learn how to take care of it and then grow it this big versus buying one this big and then kind of not knowing what to do and then it dying. Let me show you the soil I use and let's go ahead and repot my new baby Sophie. guys so I just cut open this little planter I checked the soil the soil looks good the roots look good there are no bugs I don't have a problem at all with bugs in any of the plants in my home I don't use any kind of bug spray or anything like that these plants don't really attract any bugs at least not in my case if you are the type of person that are, are is scared of bugs and the, don't have plants because you think that they all attract bugs i would say that the white bird of paradise is a good plant to start with so you do want to try to keep some of the soil that it's already in and kind of shake off the excess but making sure to keep the nice beautiful roots intact so we have some of that excess dirt that was just kind of there that's not really attached to the roots that we shook off a little bit and i went ahead and put this inside on top of the uh miracle Grow soil that I put in there. Just gonna prune these edges a little bit. So everything in there is kind of attached. So you wanna make sure you put the plant right in the center and not too far to the right or left. So you can see some roots here. So I'm gonna stop pruning and then I'm gonna take the rest of my miracle Grow and spread it around and on top. Nice, very nice. So I ended up using kind of that extra dirt to fill it in a little bit more. I might need a little bit more dirt, so I'll order some. But this plant has three bases. You can see one, two, and then back there, three. So this plant has the potential to really be huge, and I don't want that. So we're not gonna put it in a super bright area. And just to note, this one has two stems. This one also has two stems, which all of the leaves grow off of. I'm gonna do a, a thorough watering right now, so just so that it gets acclimated, and then I'm gonna put it back. All right, guys, just finished cleaning up. Vacuum my little floor there. This is the water bottle that I use to spray the leaves of my plants every other day. I usually do it very, very early in the morning before the sun comes out, or 
in the evening once the sun has set. And I just love how this bottle looks. It's a glass bottle from Amazon, and I will link it down below if any of you are interested. Also, please note that the White Bird of Paradise plants, they love moisture and humidity. So if you don't have like a lot of moisture or humidity where you live, which we don't have a lot of that, in New York City when it's not summertime, then misting them right before like the sun comes out kind of creates that environment. So definitely invest in a good spray bottle that gives off a really nice mist. They love that kind of tender love and care. Also, be sure to clean your leaves every, I would say every week, especially in the summertime when your windows are open, a lot of dust is flying around. I usually just take a damp, paper towel and gently wipe down the leaves, the tops of the leaves and the bottom of the leaves. You'll be surprised how dusty plant leaves get. And if there's a lot of dust on the leaves, it's hard for them to really absorb that light and like turn that into vitamins and minerals that they need to survive. I'm gonna show you how I water my plants. So I like to use this little jar. It's maybe about five cups. And I usually do about two trips for my big plant. I use one whole full one for my smaller plants. I also find that my plants prefer room temperature water, not hot water and not cold water. I feel like anything else might shock the roots, especially if it's like winter time and you give a plant hot water or it's summertime and you give a plant ice cold water. Plants just like regular room temperature water. <laughs> All right guys, so just to recap, I have three white birds of paradise. They love a lot of sunlight. The less sunlight, the slower they grow. Um, if they're growing too quick for you, I use the miracle Grow potting soil. I will link it down below. I got all of my white birds of paradise plants from Home Depot. I think they cost about 25 to $35. I water my white birds of paradise maybe like every three days and just make sure that the soil is always moist and then I spray the leaves every other day before the sun comes up or after the sun goes down. Now for my fiddle fig leaf tree plant it likes a lot of sunlight it doesn't like a lot of water I water it once every two weeks a very like well soaked and I spray the leaves every other day. For all of my plants, I clean the leaves off once every two weeks with a damp paper towel just so that they are nice and clean and able to get the sunlight they need to survive. That is it. When it comes to my plants, details are down below in the description box. Make sure to head over to my Instagram, save that photo that has Amelia in it with all of the details about how to care for the plant so that you don't have to keep coming back here and watching the video. And again, special thanks to Nasty Gal for sponsoring a portion of this video. All of the details for everything that I received from Nasty Gal and tried on for you guys can be found down below in the description box. For reference, I am usually a size medium or a size six, and I'm five foot six inches tall. All right guys, that is it for this video. It's a quick one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, please do give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot as a content creator. To keep up with my videos, make sure you are subscribed. Click that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if, if this is your first time watching, welcome to the fam. I appreciate you. I've gotten a ton of new subscribers lately and I really appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you next video. Bye guys.